So one of the trickiest parts about installing a disposal is actually removing the disposal, unmounting and mounting the actual disposal itself. And that's because the disposal rides along a rail and it gets locked in via a notch. So you need considerable amount of force. So what I mean here is you'll see that the rail is angled and it goes from lower to upper. So when you're twisting it, you need a considerable amount of force. So what you have to do is use two Allen wrenches, twisting and putting it in these holes to give you leverage. So I'll have one there and I'll have one on the opposite end and I'll twist left and right to either remove the disposal or to mount the disposal and you'll see the notch there that it rides up against. So once it goes up against that notch it's locked in so it takes a considerable amount of force to twist it off or to twist it on. So once again, this is the tip, you know, put it in, uh, use two Allen wrenches and just twist. And that will give you the appropriate amount of leverage to actually remove either this disposal or actually to twist on and mount the disposal. So the second tip is this particular flange here may be lowered all the way at the bottom when you buy it or during shipping. And what you have to do is you have to push this flange all the way up to the top. You know, you might have to use force, you might have to tap it with a hammer, but make sure this flange here, this silver flange, is all the way up at the top because when you're trying to mount this 10 pound thing and you're underneath the sink, it is very hard to push that notch up against the beginning of the rail and sliding it through unless you actually have the flange riding up at the top where the gasket is. So just keep that in mind is that during shipping, this flange might be dislodged and it might be all the way at the bottom of the uh, disposal there by half an inch. Make sure you have it pushed all the way up to the top against the um, gasket there. And that's really your starting point. So that is the second tip and uh, that might save you a lot of aggravation there. So the third tip is that if you have a dishwashing machine and you're connecting the dishwasher hose into this plastic pipe here, Make sure you actually remove that plastic notch within the pipe by using a screwdriver and tapping it a little bit with the hammer. So that will actually expose the hole where you could actually drain the dishwasher uh, you know, water right out into the disposal. So don't forget that if, if you're doing it afterwards, it becomes a little bit cumbersome underneath the sink to actually do it. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind if you are connecting to a dishwasher.